My dear viewers, I'd like you to invite today uh, to go shopping with me, not grocery shopping. And um, I am in not big, not small, mall, shopping center, and I need to buy something. Will you join me? Dear friends, nice to meet you. I'm Marina and um, I spent time today in ordinary, typical, usual mall, shopping mall in Moscow. There are two, three, sometimes four similar shopping malls near uh, every underground station, I mean outside. And let's see what does it look like. And first of all, I have to visit uh, a special pets store. Everything for your beloved pets. I need to buy some food for cats. And you see, plenty, plenty of different food. Wow. <laughs> Very big store. <laughs> it's rather difficult to find and to buy something if you don't know what. But I know exactly what I need. I think this one, two kilos, 2,000 rubles. 2,000 rubles, you have to divide by 77 today because dollar is rising. And you'll get price in dollars, about maybe 27 dollars. Almost in all Moscow malls, there is a big, big department of electronics where you can buy everything you want. Guys, I hope all of you have already seen my uh, video, very detailed video about my visiting um, electronic store. If not, here is the link. Oh, my dear viewers, I think it's really a kind of art because every cake is a masterpiece. I can say the tastes of these cakes, but, but every cake looks stunning and extraordinary. Wow, just have a look. And um, average prices for these cakes, average price is um, $30 for a big one, for example this. And $20 for small. Oh my god. Uh, I know that this bakery is, is the winner. They got all oh, sorry, they got all, all the re rewards in a cake cooking championship. Great. One of the most amazing chain in my opinion is Leonardo. It's a hobby hypermarket. Here you can find everything you dream about for your hobby, everything for decorations, for um, drawings, for painting, uh, for doing something unusual. What are you interested in? So everything is here. <laughs> Maybe you are fond of sewing. Or doing, making some interesting things from wood. Oh, just have a look. I have no words. Maybe you can make something wonderful from wool. All you need it's a section for painters and oh my god <laughs> oh, 
obviously uh, I have no ideas what to comment because it's great space. Hmm, and maybe you are fond of sculptures. I think it's great. It's true, it's an endless store. But we don't have enough time. Just very quick review for you to see that it's fantastic. For example, <laughs> if you like embroidery, you may be lost here, only in this section. And you see prices, one dollar for example. Oh. It's very, very special uh, chain, Eldo, uh, Leonardo, Leonardo by name. Oh, stop it. Truly speaking, after that, after the, this uh, store, Leonardo, I start to be interested in all. So all hobbies are mine. Guys, you have to know about that. As I told you before, it's not big, but uh, very pretty uh, mall with the uh, Plenty of different departments. And what I need? Uh, I need to uh, buy a present for my friend. He has a birthday party tomorrow. And I promised him to buy something new from perfumes. Uh, it's not here. Of course, as for me, diamonds are better than a perfume. All of you know, diamonds are the girl's best friends. Perfume, let it be perfume. He's a man. What diamonds? Of course perfume. Uh, do you remember trademark L'Occitane? I think it's French. First of all, they announced that they left Russia, but I see L'Occitane, but its name is written in Russian. That's the difference. I think I can find a good perfume here. It's, uh, it's a well-known chain, L'Etoile. Oh, I see Chanel, Dior, Lancome. Are you still here in Russia? <laughs> nice to see you. Givenchy. Guerlain. Maybe I'm not in uh, 2023, maybe I'm in um, 2018. <laughs> no? And all perfumes are here. And I see a lot of discounts. I like this perfume. But uh, there is a special separated uh, section for men. Let's see what's there. Hmm, rather big cosmetic store. Ah, here is man territory. I have one question for you, my dear viewers. Do you see shortage of something? I think it's over full. And now the problem, <laughs> what to choose, I think, uh, this one, because I like Burberry, and let me sniff, mm, and a good discount, so for 50 milliliters, price is about $60, that's nice, I think I'll take this one. Guys, thanks a lot for your help. When I'm with you, I make a decision what to buy quite fast. Why? I don't know. 
the favorite place of all customers, of all shopping centers, is food court, of course. This food court is not uh, so big. Sometimes uh, there are more than 100 uh, cafes and restaurants, and here are only maybe maybe 10. Uh, and the most popular one is Chehana. This is Uzbekistan cuisine. It's it's great cuisine. And um, famous Burger King. And again, famous KFC with their wonderful crispy chicken wings. And uh, what I'd like to show you is Russian cuisine. But first of all, Japanese sushi and pizza. <laughs> I don't know Japanese or not. But what about Terimok? It's a great chain and uh, it's very, very popular. And uh, I hope useful food is there. Um, mostly pancakes with different fillings. You see? Looks attractive, really. And they, uh, they have open kitchen here. And the um, prices are rather good. Uh, you can have a meal here for maybe three dollars and that's enough. Then what else we have? Hin Kali Club. It's, uh, I will ask, I think it's Georgian cuisine. As for me, I adore Georgian cuisine. Oh, have a look at that. Mm, I think it's wonderful. And uh, what's price for? It's like big pelmens, you know? Hinkali. Uh, сколько стоит хинкали? Uh, one dollar for one piece. But I think three hinkali is enough for for a big man for dinner. <laughs> That's great, thanks. And what else? Turkish cuisine. I think it's um, the best place for uh, eating shawarma. As for me, I love Turkish cuisine. I often visit Turkey and, oh yes, and of course I eat shawarma in Istanbul often. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Turkey, uh, different kebabs and uh, keftas, uh, traditional um, Turkish dishes. And let's go further. Vietnam cuisine is very popular nowadays in Moscow. Um, no people here, it's strange. Maybe all people uh, are eating already. But uh, here, I think uh, noodles mostly and uh, some uh, Vietnam soups. And what else? The last one is... Oh! My dear friends, do you remember this logo? It's tasty and that's it. The replacement of McDonald's. Frankly speaking, my dear viewers, I know exactly that a lot of my colleagues, Russian bloggers, have already eaten Big Mac and filmed already how they were eating Big Mac. Um, and they want to do it as well. Maybe Big Mac? Or maybe not? Can you give me a piece of advice? What to do? I have very, very weak will of power. I will do it. I will eat Big Mac. Its name Big Hit. Not Big Mac for sure. But it's the same. I hope so. It's gonna be a big hit. Let's start. I need a few minutes. You see, it's only two dollars. 
total sum is um, about three dollars and I'm waiting for my big hit my dear viewers do you remember wonderful unbelievable sphere on YouTube uh, its name ASMR Mukbang when people are eagerly eat and drink something with special sounds like mm, mm. Wow. something like this I'm not going to do it <laughs> don't worry this is only the second time per year I eat in McDonald's oh sorry in in tasty and that's it some bloggers uh, call our new McDonald's tasty and period but I'm not sure you can correct me if you want uh, I know that period has different meanings that's why I call it tasty and that's it let's see tasty or not tasty here is my first video about um, the opening ceremony of Mac Russian McDonald's <sighs> truly speaking it's very very delicious with the uh, uh, pickles and lettuce and two uh, beef cutlets and very fresh bun <sighs> junk food or not junk food that's how ingloriously my trip around this small center ended and here is the link to my videos about how Russians spend their free time 